All right, hey there, Leo. So I am doing a an energy check-in. This is just a quick video for those of you who are dealing with a person that's pulled their energy back. So it's not you, it's me, that, that type of energy. Um, and basically what this read is about is this person that gave you a reason as to why they can't keep continuing the relationship. We're gonna see what they told you. And we're going to see what's really going on. So you're going to know that this is your read by your energy and what they have told you. So if that doesn't resonate, check your other placements. And if you guys are new, welcome. I do hope if you like my vibe that you will subscribe. So Leo, what is your energy? What is Leo's energy? All right. So you're coming through, I feel like, with the desire of wanting to come out of the break with this person. The Four of Swords in reverse says that you could, you guys might have been, this might be something that's been ongoing for some time. It might be a couple of weeks or a month or so since you've talked to this person. And I feel like this is a depiction of wanting to come out of the break or at least heal from the dynamic. All right. I feel with the Seven of Cups. Um, you know, it's probably most likely you don't want to be strung along. You don't want to be, you don't want to be mixed in drama. You don't want to be strung along. You're kind of tired of the bullshit really is what I feel. I feel like what you want is somebody to, to come through for you. That's actually real, honest, truthful about how they feel for you. I feel like this person that's coming through on your mind, you're really looking at it as, um, you know, they love, this is, this is supposed to be love. So what the hell happened to it? Right. Um, you want to talk to this person, but I also too, I feel like you want to give them a piece of your mind because you don't want to be strung along and you're more than just an option. And, and, you know, frankly, it's like, as we start getting older, we're tired of the, the freaking games. And I kind of see, you know, these two cards coming through as gameplay and it's like, I'm tired of it, man. I I'm sick of it. You know, I feel like the person coming through on your heart space and in your mind space was somebody that was pretty near and dear to you. Um, and to play games, to play with your emotions and feelings, it's just not settling well. If anything, I feel like you just want to know really what's going on with this person. Because even if they've told you something and, and the energy's been pulled away, I don't feel like you're accepting it. Um, I feel like it's something that was probably the surfacey type of bullshit, right? So let's just see what it is they told you. What did they tell you? Why they couldn't see you? Why they can't continue this? What did they tell you? What did they tell you? So the Ace of Wands in reverse, um, this is basically fear of, of starting. They have fears, doubts, worries of, um, of starting something new. All right, the hangman coming through is basically it's illusion, it's uncertainty. So basically this person's really not sure what they want. Um, and they, really what I almost feel is this person's probably told you that they need some time to think. They need some time to clear their head, all right, before they can um, pursue anything. I just feel like this person needs to clear their head. And I feel like that's kind of what they told you. I'm not ready because there's just some things going on. I can't start anything new. I really need to clear my head. Um, and with the Knight of Cups coming through, I, I don't, I'm not going to say that this person told you that they can be jealous or moody, unrealistic, or have high expectations. Um, but I almost feel like you can kind of sense that within this person or this person is self-aware um, that they might not be ready. Um, I, I don't feel like they've told you that. All right, but it is coming through in, as far as a part of what they told you. The Knight of Cups coming through too is just probably basically saying, I don't want anything serious right now. Um, I don't want anything serious. Um, so let's see, let's see what their energy is. What is their energy currently? So coming through with the King of Wands, um, that is somebody that has a lot of eyes on them. That's um, somebody who's in the public eye, somebody who could be an entrepreneur. Um, the th Three of Cups coming through is a depiction of um, it's it's coming to it's it's supposed to be union, unity, happiness coming together, or celebrating. Um, but they're also coming through with the Nine of Wands. All right, so they're guarded for a reason. And I'm not going to say it's a third party situation right now, but I will pull on that to see what is really going on with them. I want to see how they feel about you first, though. So how does this person feel about Leo? They are looking at you as um, they, they have fear. They definitely have fears. All right. Their ego is getting the best of them. How they feel about you. Uh, OK, so I'm not going to lie. The lover's card came in reverse right behind the king of cups. Um, how they feel about you is they see you as somebody who has emotional balance, somebody who's very compassionate, but somebody who could possibly be moody, 
or emotionally manipulative. All right. Now, I don't think the worst of the worst, but I almost feel like this person, like if you've been snippy with them, um, here's the lover's card coming in reverse. And I do feel like that might mean possibly that this person has a choice to make. It's not saying that they're married. Um, it could just be that they're, they're seeing more than just you. All right. With the high priestess card in reverse, um, they could look at you as somebody who's coming through as secretive or hiding something. Um, you know, and I'm not going to say that they, they look at you as a spell caster or anything like that, but that could also be part of it. Um, and the nine of cups, um, they, the potential here is happiness. They do see wish fulfillment, but they need to get out of their head. And I feel like there's actually some energy that they need to clear before they could actually make a serious decision. So let me see what's really going on with this person. What's really going on with this person? What is going on? Did we got, we, do we got them? All right. So what's really going on with this person? I feel like they're having to transition out of something. Okay. With the five of cups coming in reverse, this is telling me that this person's really focused on the past. All right. Um, the world card coming through, it's, I, I almost feel like this person, I was almost thinking that they were either involved in a third party or, um, they have a lot of options, but what I'm, what I'm seeing now is this person's actually, they do have fears. They don't want to move forward. Um, and it, I feel like it's because their head is stuck on somebody else. All right. The five of cups in reverse. It tells me that this person's trying to heal something from the past. Okay. Before they can see the upstanding cups, they're trying to heal something from the past. And it could be this king of swords energy that came through. I mean, they might've dealt with with somebody who was playing games, who was unserious, unfocused, um, somebody who was um, quite manipulative, all right, somebody who um, ended up being pretty cold hearted. And I feel like this person's actually trying to close the cycle out on on whoever it was that they're dealing with. Now, it doesn't have to be a relationship. It could be a family member. Um, but, you know, most likely it probably is a relationship style type of connection that came through um, that they're trying to um, they're trying to clear. All right. So I, I really feel like they're being honest. Um, so let's see if this person's coming back next 30 days. Will they return? All right. So we got the chariot card. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. So the chariot card coming through, I feel like this person's um, actually going to be processing through their emotions. I do feel like this chariot card is saying, yes, they will return. Um, and you guys will actually communicate a little bit more about what they what they um, originally had told you. All right. The Ace of Swords is a depiction of coming back through new beginnings communication. And I feel like whatever is said between you guys, it will be a success and it will move forward. All right. So let's even though they're they're going to come back through and I feel like honesty does lie here. I want to see what their intentions are. So their intentions for when they come back. Let's see what their intentions are. their intentions so here's what i'm gonna say i feel like this person all right so we have the six of cups that's the return um i feel the full card is uh changes and new beginnings and then we have the seven of swords all right what i'm gonna say is the feeling i get from this is the seven of swords to me in this sense it would only make sense for me to read it as this person is going to start trusting themselves when it comes to um, being um, approaching you. OK, the Seven of Swords is not always about lies, manipulation, control and gaslighting and all the ugly things. This card also represents somebody. It's a stolen heart card. All right. It's somebody who's scared to let somebody in. It's somebody who's afraid of letting people in because they're afraid of getting hurt. All right. I feel like that person is going to change their mindset. Okay. And I feel like they are going to be in pursuit of the new beginning here. Um, because I, I do feel like they, you know, you guys do have a connection that is worth pursuing. And I feel like that's where that six of cups is coming from. Um, this person knows that this connection is worth pursuing and, um, they're probably sitting here wondering. So as time goes, as time goes on, you know, um, is this lost? You know what I mean? So let's just see what your advice is for this. What is your advice? Just to focus on yourself, take care of yourself. Also to uh, make sure that, you know, you don't accept anybody who's going to treat you um, less. All right. Um, you deserve the best, Leo. You do. You, you deserve the best. All right. And what you need to know is that if people aren't treating you as the best, um, and it's not to say that you are, you're a prince or a princess and you need to be on a pedestal, but you do need to take care of yourself. All right. If you believe that somebody's treating you less than what you deserve, 
you know, then it's up to you to walk away from the connection. Um, the Eight of Cups coming in reverse tells me that this person is coming back through. All right. And um, just make sure you use your intuition when they come back. All right. If, do they do they sound healed? Do they look healed? Do they seem healed? All right. Learn from the past. Um, and even in your own situation, learn from past uh, um, failure, learn from procrastination, learn from what um, lack of progress shows. Um, you already know that you're very intuitive. Whoever I'm talking to, you you already know. All right. Um, but the page of pentacles, too, is all about manifestation and moving forward. So learning from failure and then moving forward. All right, Leo, I'm going to leave it there. You guys, I do hope that this has helped some some of you out there. Um, I'm going to take I'm going to leave it there. You guys take it easy.